What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got a really quick tutorial for you about how to put text behind objects in your photos. And we're gonna do that in a family photo right now. Let's go. So basically I have this photo open up, which is what we're gonna be using, right? As you can see, it's just one photo here. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna duplicate it. So let's go over here, duplicate it, right? And on this duplicated layer, we're gonna to go to the selections persona, select the smart selection brush. And so we're gonna just select it. All right, and the cool thing about it is we don't have to select the whole thing, right? We just want it to be behind. So when we're done, we're just gonna refine it, see what we selected. If we're okay with that, then we're gonna select the output to a mask, apply, and as you can see, if we hide the original layer, you can see we've taken the ketchup bottle out of the image. Now, we're going to create a text layer. We're going to go back to the photo persona, and we're going to go to over here, select the text box. We're going to draw a text box real quick. All right, and we are going to Type something out, you know, like behind, right? As you can see, it's kind of big for now. We're going to change the font because this is a very ugly looking font. Uh, let's go with a white font. I'm gonna choose my favorite font right now, which is outfit, black. And now, because we've already set everything here, but what gives, Daniel? Why isn't it behind? Because we have to take this layer and put it in between. Now, as you can see, we have text behind the ketchup bottle. And you can take this concept and apply it to any, you know, kind of work that you're gonna be doing, right? It's a great way to be able to, you know, mix it up and stuff like that. And so that's all I have to do today. That was a very, very quick video and I hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Check you later.